Yo, 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 guys, what is going on? I usually don't stand behind the camera like this, but I decided for this video I am, and I got the little video up here, I got the mic up here, I was recording a video, but I kind of wanted to talk about a MacBook versus an iPad type of situation because a lot of students, I should have made this video like three months ago when school was about to start, but I totally forgot. But a lot of students out there are trying to figure out whether they should go out and buy an iPad or they should go out and buy a MacBook for college. So I am gonna quickly talk about it. I have a 2014 Retina MacBook, and I have a 2000, and I have an iPad Air too. I I don't know what year came out. I'm not even gonna talk about it. I'm gonna bring you guys with me tomorrow. It's actually like tonight. It's like 9 30. I'm about to go to sleep in like half an hour, bro. I gotta like get my sleep schedule back. But but I'll, we'll talk about it tomorrow when I wake up and we'll figure out then, dude. All right, bye guys. All right, guys, I found this random classroom and believe it or not, would you believe me if I told you it was like a whole separate day since like that first clip of the video? I know it's weird, but like I totally forgot to even finish this video and I was looking back and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it. So I'm in my campus right now and we're basically gonna take a look at the MacBook versus the iPad, right? I said it before and I just noticed how good this camera is. Like it seems pretty decent. And OGs of this channel will actually know what classroom this is. I did a video, I did a couple videos in this classroom and I figured it'd be open again. So I came back and look, look, it's, it's open. I figured I would break down this whole comparison in like like five or four different categories i kind of forget what they are but basically the first one is size and i can tell you from firsthand that between carrying a huge macbook around or carrying an ipad that the ipad wins every time i mean you can just look this thing is much smaller in size compared to i mean literally this, i mean just imagine carrying around the ipad versus this whole entire macbook everywhere you go i mean it'd be super annoying even though the ipad has a smaller screen than the macbook i mean it's still like high resolution and everything now this next category is power and i'm gonna tell you straight up obviously the macbook wins and I, this isn't even the old, newest macbook this is a 2014 one and even this one is much faster than the ipad air 2. now these are kind of comparable these were released around the same time so if you have a newer macbook you're probably not looking for like an ipad air 2 as a substitute you're mostly looking maybe for like an ipad pro or the ipad 2017 version so i'll tell you straight up man to man or like man to woman the macbook overpowers the ipad by any way you look at it i mean but the other way to look at it is the ipad doesn't necessarily take too much power in order to run i mean the apps that it has i mean it has chrome it has google docs it has all those things i don't have them installed right now but this one has tons of apps that the macbook also supports but they're kind of the light version on here so you don't necessarily have final cut pro you don't have photoshop you have like photoshop light you have like imovie you have you have garage band but you don't have logic pro you don't have full on complete photoshop you don't have final cut pro so that's where the ipad really lags in terms of power and probably more so functionality as well i mean you don't have a lot of apps that are supported on here so but for, i mean in terms of a college student it, you know it's not the most powerful you know like tablet kind of laptop replacement device but i will say that the ipad doesn't take a lot of power to run you know all the apps that it has are kind of more light versions of most of the apps that the macbook and windows support and especially as a college student you're mostly going to be typing papers you know doing homework filling out you know pdf files and stuff like that and you can multitask i mean if you have like so we have like safari open right there right and you want to have settings on the side not settings and you want to have like notes on the side or something like that you can set it up so you can have notes right here and you can, you know, do what you're, whatever you want here and you can have this thing right here. So that's super cool. This next category is flexibility. And, and I'll be honest, like between the two, this might be surprising. I think the iPad is more flexible than the MacBook in terms of like, you know, just like over overall usability. Like when I use my MacBook, it's mostly just for like work. Like I usually just like do homework on it or like edit videos and stuff like that. I don't really game on here. I just maybe watch videos here and there. I don't do really much with it. But on the iPad, I find myself beyond just doing work and, you know, bringing it to class sometimes. I also do a little bit of gaming and not on this iPad. I, I literally got this like not too long ago. So I haven't really put all my apps on here but on my previous ipad i had like tons of emulators tons of games and it would be kind of cool that if i came onto campus and i needed to use a computer of some sort i could just jump on a computer here and then just you know go on my ipad and finish it off i can do the same thing on my macbook but you know this didn't cost me that much in the first world this cost me you can probably get three ipads for one of these macbooks and I got both of these used, so just keep that in mind how expensive, you know, the MacBook is compared to an iPad Air. So sometimes if I was done doing a Google Doc or you know, done typing a paper, I would just quickly go into here, play a quick game or something like that, and, you know, be on my way. I mean, I wouldn't, like, spend too much time, you know, doing anything, but it was definitely cool that I'd be able to, like, play full-on, like, iPad games and, you know, games like that without having to, like, jump over and use my phone as a separate device or... Because on a MacBook, I mean, I'll be honest, it's not touchscreen, so it's not as fun as playing it on here when I have, like, the screen, the, the buttons here and the buttons there, you know what I mean? But the same thing could be said about the macbook as well i mean you can type a paper and everything and you can also go and like you know work on music or work on you know videos or something like that and that's what things i do i tend to do more often than not so in terms of flexibility they're both flexible in their own way if you're more of a gamer and you're more of an ios type of person maybe an ipad isn't that bad but if you plan on doing more having a device you can use for a much longer time maybe a macbook isn't that bad all right guys i'm back in the library because i'm like really really smart but like this video i just realized is actually really boring so i have to put in a bunch of these little skits so, 
And the next one is battery life and honestly i will say that the ipad has better battery life than the macbook so the ipad will last you longer on like standby time and all that stuff but the macbook just has so much power and you can do more on a macbook so you know there is a little bit of a trade-off but it's kind of hard to compare these two because they're not really the same device this is kind of like a replacement to this one so even though the ipad does have better battery life it doesn't mean it's necessarily a better device or we should pay more for an ipad just because it has better battery life i don't, I don't know I, I hope you guys get what i'm saying and this last category is usage and this kind of goes back in with the functionality of it all but bro, bros i'll be honest if you plan on like using a, a, a device more than just typing papers or you know a little bit of maybe a web design or something because this has access to safari and a flash player and all that stuff or playing games and stuff maybe a macbook isn't that bad of a device because you can you know go into final cut pro and go into logic and do whatever kind of things you need to do you know make some money on the side and obviously you can do that on here too but it's just more feature proof on the macbook than it is on the ipad so guys i'll be completely honest like whatever one you choose like i'll be perfectly fine like i'll still be your friend and stuff like that but you do kind of have to keep in mind that if you do want to use a device longer than just a couple of years then just like a year or so maybe a macbook isn't that bad you know you pay a little bit more money up front but you do end up getting a better device that you can do more with and it might last you longer than an ipad depending on which macbook you get if you get it like a 2011 2012 macbook so basically how i'll sum it up they're both really good devices get an ipad if you just want the bare minimum of a college student you just you're just gonna write papers and stuff like that get a macbook if you plan on doing more than just writing papers and typing spreadsheets and stuff like that. I'll leave links to an iPad and the MacBook in the description, as well as this case. I was gonna put this case in the video, but I was like, nah, screw it. Like, nobody's gonna do it, but yeah, I'll put those in the video in. And that's pretty much it, guys. There's really not much more to say. Um, I'll go ahead and just slide down here, just for you guys' entertainment. Ready, three, two, one, let's go. But guys, if you're new to my channel, I'm on all the social networks you see on the screen. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Comment down if you guys have any questions or anything, I'll be happy to answer. But please hit that subscribe button. We're doing an Xbox One giveaway right now. We're going strong right now, but we need all... I'm trying to get to 50,000 subscribers next year. So however many subscribers I can get right now, I'd really appreciate it. And more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. And hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.